Let's play around a little with supply and demand. We're going to examine our market for Andy's mints. So we have our graph here of price on the y-axis and quantity demanded on the x-axis or quantity supplied. So price, quantity. And let's just draw our initial demand curve. It's downward sloping following the law of demand and then we have a supply curve upward sloping following the law of supply. Now in this particular market we're going to make a few assumptions. Um, one of the assumptions is that people are rational, they make rational decisions. We're going to assume that they have complete information um, and we're going to assume that this market is perfectly competitive. So in a perfectly competitive market where these two lines intersect here is called our equilibrium point. And our equilibrium point in a perfectly competitive market is going to the point be the point where we cannot make any person better off without making another person worse off. And we have our P prime and our Q prime, which is just the price and quantity demanded at that price. Now when we're looking at supply and demand if we are examining a change in price that is a movement along the curves not a movement of the curve. Whenever we examine price again it's just a movement along the curve either the supply or the demand curve. But when we're examining changes in the factors affecting demand or the factors affecting supply besides price, those cause shifts in the supply or the demand curves. So let's use our model to make a prediction. Let's say that the income levels of our consumers increase. An increase in the income levels causes a shift in demand. A shift in demand caused by an increase in income is a shift up in demand, or shift outward. And you look here, we have our new, um, we're going to call this first demand curve D1, the second demand curve D2, and you'll notice that with the shift in demand, the increase in demand, not the increase in quantity demanded, the increase in demand, which is represented by our shift in the curve, you notice that the new equilibrium is up here. So if we, and that's, we just follow the curve up to the new point. So when we have, in this case, when we have an increase in income, that results in an increase in quantity demanded and an increase in price. An increase in quantity demanded and supplied and an increase in the price at that point. So we have our new P prime prime here and then you Q prime prime. So let's move on and try another um, example.